And now, views and interviews from the world of technology. Coming up, Sky News Tech Talk with Krista Holliman. Hi, my name is Michael Wu. I'm the principal scientist at Lithium Technology. And um, I do research and solve problems that don't have solutions yet. What makes a person interested in joining a community? What drives them to, to sign up and engage and continue to come back? Yeah, so there's, there's actually two questions there because what drives them to come usually is very different than what drives them to coming back. So what drives them to come to the community typically is uh, a question or they're looking for something. They might not even know the community existed. They actually may land on the community because of they're doing a Google search. And what get, keep them coming back is that they actually start to realize value from the community. And when they start participating, they generate greater values. And that's through gamification, right? So sometimes when you, when you um, come to the community, you ask a question, you say, oh, this community is actually useful. It answers my question. So I'm going to come look around. And if I see something that I can answer, I'll, I'll contribute a little bit, just you know, as a gesture of, of appreciation, right? So, and then when they do that, the gamification engine will actually notice that and reward them for participating. Right? When they participate, they get game, their activity gets recorded and then it gets feedback with a positive reinforcement. And um, they say, oh, that's actually kind of cool. You know, I get appreciated you know, for doing good things in the community. And so they continue to do good. Right? And when, so that will work for a while. Right? And then um, the challenge of that, you know, gamification is, is it will almost always work in the short term. It's like a, it's really primal, you know, a, a rat or a pigeon can actually learn um, if you reward them in, in, in a positive, through positive reinforcement, right? However, it's really hard to make gamification work in the long term, right? Gamification, um, I don't know, like four square, uh, you know, people check in, but people, after a while, they realize that there's actually not much value uh, in just checking in. So after a while, they just stop checking in, right? So, but in the community, it's actually very different because when they start participating, it's maybe because they, of the rank and reputation and, and badges and points they get. But after a while, they'll realize that, oh, there's actually something more to this than just the badge and points. Because my, con my contribution is being used, being valued. I, that answer that I provided a month ago has been viewed 5,000 times. Uh, one of the idea I created was kind of you know considered by the company and they are going to implement it and then it's actually you know some of my ideas have been implemented actually built into the product and can actually benefit a lot of people you know so that's those are the kind of thing that you know through participation over time um, they gain greater value right so app when they start realizing those long term values then the points and badges are essentially just a secondary reinforcement. And we've seen those in our data um, over and over again because you know uh, sometimes you will see a uh, a community member will move up the rank, uh, leveling up themselves up, and then eventually they will reach the, the highest rank. And of course, our best practice recommend people to kind of adjust their rank so they actually have room to to grow and, and level continue to level up. But then, of course, some of our uh, clients don't have time or. or you know, um, to do this all, all the time. So sometimes they just leave the rank as they are. So these super users, they, we, it's really interesting. They move up to the top and then they kind of stay there even though there's no more, no more um, gamification reward for them, right? But they continue to participate. They continue to participate because of these other community interactions, you know, the value that they get from the community, such as, you know, valuing their contribution, Amplifying their influence, you know, their recognition in the community, the company, you know, not only the community member but the company also recognizes them. So these are greater value that's generated through their participation over time. So those are kind of what drive them to come back. So one of the phrases I, I I think is really uh, succinctly summarized this is that people come for the game, but people stay for the community. Now you you could go to a, a pick up tennis game, you play with them a little bit, but after you get to know them a little bit, you just, just stay around because you know you get to know them. You get to know everyone. Sky News Tech Talk in association with First Tuesday, the UK's largest network for high growth technology companies and their investors.
For free membership, visit firsttuesday.org.uk.